Welcome back to my 49ers Connected Fantasy Franchise here. This episode is just going to be, you know, the offseason, you know, the draft, all that good stuff, and I'll probably change the sliders during uh, this video. But anyway, I'm going to spend my coach experience. I'm going to start off with that because I have 3.4 thousand. Might as well get some stuff up. So let's go with offensive line boost would be pretty nice. I actually have most of this stuff here. That's pretty cool. I've got the offensive line and the kicker boost. Why not? Get my kicker to be a little better. It's Justin Tucker. So, I mean, you can't really get that much better. But let's see if I want to negotiate with anybody here. Will Sutton is our, you know, top player here. Cody Wickman is also here. Leroy Reynolds, I do want to bring back. He did not play much, but whenever he did play, he played really well for us. So I'm definitely okay with bringing him back to the team. BW Webb, I'm okay with letting go. Cyril Richardson, I'm okay with. Alex Collins, I do want back as well. I'm just going to give you a five-year deal. I'm not going to really up anything else. You did really well for us when you had to come in. Owa Odegazua, I'm not going to go after. Miles Killebrew would be pretty cool, but I kind of want to draft some late round um, safeties or something. And there's a dog going crazy outside. I apologize for that. Mac Hollins, do I want to bring back Mac Hollins? You really don't want much. I'll bring you back to the team because I just, I don't know. I like Mac Hollins. He's on the Eagles. And Jake Rudock, I'm definitely bringing back as well. Some of these guys, all pretty low deals. They don't really want that much money, but I'll give them all pretty long contracts. So I'm okay with doing all of those deals. Now let's go into free agency. I highly doubt anybody's going to be here. And these dogs are going mental outside. I don't really expect anyone good to be here. And yeah, it's kind of what I expected to happen. I mean, Chris Boswell is a good kicker, but I don't need a kicker. Bucky Hodges. 87 speed tight end. Bucky Hodges is not bad. But I might try to maybe draft a late round tight end or something. Chris Thompson's kind of cool. Nikel Roby Coleman? You're getting so many points. You're a good player. You're getting a lot of points, though. Okay, I don't think I'm going to bring in anybody here. Bradley Roby is a 78 in this roster. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to go after anybody. Actually, Jake Butt. What are your stats? Yeah, not bad. Okay, yeah, I actually... <laughs> Finally, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say it one more time. I'm not gonna go after anybody, like right now. But if I do end up signing anyone, I'll let you know who it is. I'm trading up with the Titans in the draft in order to select a very talented cornerback. I'm giving them my 32nd overall pick, Jaquan Jarrett. I think his name is a Mackenzie Alexander for pick number three. And the cornerback I want should not be gone by the time I draft. But let's see who the Packers pick. They picked a wide receiver. That guy looked pretty good. Hull actually got drafted by the Giants. That is rough. I really wanted Hull because he had superstar development. They were not supposed to take that guy. That is very annoying. But then with this pick, I guess, I can go with this corner who looks really good. He's very fast and has very good stats. So I can probably go with him. Or I can go with Antonio Betts and get a very, very talented safety. I'm going to go with Green. I think cornerbacks are a bigger issue in this team. So I'm going to go with Harvey Green. 84 overall. <laughs> Normal development. Okay. I know that Hull had superstar development, but I don't think he's an 84 overall. This guy is amazing. Our next pick is kind of late in the second round, number 22, and we do not have our second rounder. That's kind of strange. But with this pick, I want one of these linebackers. Spencer Hudson looks very, very good. He'd be a good backup tight end, but I have some other guys as, uh, as backup tight ends later. This guy does look really good, though. I'm really tempted to go with him. But then the thing is, right... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with my defense yet, but I think I might run a 4-3 this next season. And then maybe throw one of these guys to outside linebacker, have Rameek Wilson play the other outside linebacker position, and have, like, Vic Beasley and TJ Watt maybe slide down. I don't know. Vic Beasley for sure will slide down. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but I don't think I need both of these middle linebackers. So I'm pretty much just going to have to pick one of them. Richard Lefegde? Maybe I'll go with him. I th actually, okay, I think this is the wiser option. This guy looks really good, right? Great combine, good top three skills, 23 years old. This guy also looks very good. 4.59 speed, 4.54 speed. So that guy's a little bit faster. This guy looks very good as well. Don't get me wrong. He's probably going to be a beast. But I kind of want a good backup tight end. I mean, I know I have Demetrius Harris and Niles Paul, so do I really need that? Okay, no. <laughs> I'm being really indecisive here, but I made my decision. I'm going with Harvey Mager, and then I'm going to draft the other guy, and whoever's better, I'm going to start. That's the plan. 80 overall with quick development for Harvey Mager. And then I might have to trade up in the third round to get this other guy. He's a late third rounder, and I think I have like the 17th pick in the third round. So let me figure out what I want to do, but I'll be back most likely to pick that guy. 
I'm trading up with the Texans in the third round here. I'm giving them my third round draft pick, Tevi and Eric Flowers, for their third round pick, which is like 10 spots higher or something like that. I don't actually don't know if it's 10 spots higher, but I'm going to send back to my pick now. It's number 10 in the third round. I don't I actually didn't notice if our guy got drafted. I really hope he didn't, and he did not. Richard Lef Lefegd. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Lefegd. I'm going to go with him here. 74 overall, normal development. So the other guy we drafted actually is a bit better. This guy's still not bad. He's a good backup player to have. I'm glad that we have him, though. This pick right now is going to Glenn Jensen. This guy is way too good not to draft. I don't know where he's going to start, if he will at all, but this guy is an absolute animal. 7.4 combine grade. Really good strength. You know, good agility, good acceleration, good 40-yard dash time with great top three skills. This guy looks fantastic. 78 overall, quick development. I might try to slide this guy down the end. I don't know yet because I don't think I'm going to be running the same defense as I did last year. This guy's phenomenal, though. Marshall Shelton is going to be my draft pick right now. B plus tackling, B hit power, B minus block shedding with 39 reps on the bench press. That is phenomenal. I might try to slide this guy to defensive tackle. I think he'd be able to play there very, very well, but let's go with him here. 71 overall, normal development, but great stats. 91 strength, 87 tackling, 80 block shed, 77 speed, too, and 78 acceleration. I'm sure this guy is horrible play recognition and awareness, 55 and 54, but I mean, this guy's still very good. I'm going to probably slide him to defensive tackle. This is the player I'm most excited about, you know, out of this entire draft. Ernest Rudd, 6'4", 22 years old. I scouted this guy at like week three, I think, like week three or week four, like very, very early in the season, I had this guy scouted. A minus spectacular catch, B plus catch in traffic, B plus catching. This guy looks like a first round talent in the late seventh round. I'm actually in the late sixth round, but I want to make sure I get this guy. Four five five is not a bad 40 yard dash time for being six foot four. You know, good agility, what it looks like from down there, good acceleration, good vertical jump. This guy should have like 98 jumping. I'm excited to have this guy on the team. 79 overall, quick development. He was ranked 7th in the entire draft, and we took him at 192. That is the steal of this draft for sure. 95 jumping, 90 speed, 86 catching, 79 route running is not great, but that can be upgraded pretty easily. 91 acceleration is good, 88 catch in traffic, 90 spectacular catch. This guy is going to take Tyrell Williams' spot for sure. I don't really have anybody left who I really want to draft, so I'm just going to go with uh, Ellis Gregory here. I don't really think it's going to be anything special. But let's see, maybe randomly he's going to be great. 69 overall, normal development, a pretty good value pick there. Not bad depth. I was going to go with a tight end here, but the guy I wanted got drafted, so I can't really do that. Let's go with, um, this guy. He doesn't look terrible. I mean, he's pretty strong. And I need some backup offensive linemen. I might as well, right? I'm going to go draft this guy. Cooper Brandon, what are you all about? 67 overall. Honestly, not horrible, right? 76 run block, 73 pass block, 80 impact block. That's not like the worst I've ever seen. He'll be some decent depth and he had like a weird halo glow around him. I don't know if you guys saw that. Time to draft Mr. Irrelevant. Who should we go with? We have the last pick in the draft. Curtis Burton does not look like a bad player. We can go Blake Roberg. We can go with a, uh, a kicker. Let's see if we can find some insane value all the way back here. Back here. Tate Piscatelli. I'm kind of tempted to go with that guy just because of his last name. Piscatelli. Uh, there's like no one good down here. Michael Mills is actually kind of fast. I might go with Piscatelli and get a backup safety. What are you about? David Simmons? Okay, you're really young. And you actually have a really good combine. Diamond Bags, Tate Piscatelli, Don Dyer. Okay, you're actually really slow. Anybody really fast? I doubt it, but let me just check. If there's anybody super fast, I'll go with that. 455, 454, Patrick Whiting. Okay, so it's between Patrick Whiting or David Simmons. You're actually faster than that guy as well. I'm going to go with him. 71 overall. Apparently, that was an excellent pick. I didn't actually get to check that guy out. So, let me go through my draft recap really fast. I'll check that guy out when I get there. But I do want to over, you know, overview the entire draft. Harvey Green was our first pick in this draft. This guy was definitely worth that pick. I think it was ranked second. We drafted him at number three. I really wanted Martin Hull. What team drafted him? The Giants did. Let me check him out really fast. The Giants drafted Martin Hull, and he's an 81 with Superstar. I knew that, but our guy is definitely better. I'm much happier with our guy, honestly. This dude does have Superstar development, but if our guy can play well, then uh, he can get the Superstar relatively easily, and he already has much better stats. He's a lot faster. Great man coverage, good zone coverage, and pretty decent press coverage. I'm really happy with this draft pick there. Harvey Mager, 
was our next draft pick. A very talented middle linebacker. He's not confident, but he has quick development. He's an 80 overall when he is confident, so I might try to throw this guy to outside linebacker. 70 zone coverage is not bad. I think I'm going to be running a 4-3, so I kind of want that to happen. Richard uh, Lefegd, Lefegd, I don't know how to pronounce that. I keep messing it up. I drafted him as well, and he has 74 zone coverage, so this guy might actually be a bit better at outside linebacker. Not even too sure. I'll have to see which one of these guys I want to start. I really don't know which one yet, but Glenn Jensen, this guy's a stud as well. Drafted a whole lot of linebackers in this draft, even though our linebackers, I think, might have been like our best position. But I'm definitely going to rework the team. I'll let you guys know what the team looks like after I do that. Maybe I'll do some trades in this in this video as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, Glenn Jensen, 85 speed, 76 block shed, 92 hit power, 89 finesse move. This guy probably has horrible zone. Yeah, okay, because he is a pass rusher, so I didn't really expect him to have a good zone. But he's very good. His tackling is low, but that's pretty easily upgradable. Marshall Shelton, a potential defensive tackle for us, 71 overall here, but I'm sure he'll go up to like a 77 at defensive tackle, which I think is going to be good enough to start on the team for me. He looks really good. He's very agile too, especially if he's, you know, going to be a defensive tackle. He's one of the more agile ones. Then Ernest Rudd, this guy might be the best pick of the entire draft. Obviously, he's not the highest overall, but we picked him so late and he was ranked seventh. This guy is a stud. He's going to be an immediate starter. I can't wait to try to get this guy the ball. I hope it works out well. Ellis Gregory was just a random pick that I went with. He's not bad, but he, you know, he can pose us some pretty good depth. Maybe allow me to trade some people that I drafted last season. Cooper Brennan, another just random, um, you know, depth player. And then David Simmons actually is not bad. He's probably going to be in on uh, special teams, but I'm glad to have him in on special teams. 90 speed, 84 hit power is not bad. 70 zone coverage isn't even that bad with 75 tackling. Pretty good block shed, good agility, well, decent agility, pretty good acceleration. This guy's going to be a good backup. He might come in in some packages. I don't know. And he's only 21 years old. So that guy's a lot of room to develop if he can randomly do something awesome. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm really actually really happy with this draft. I like how it turned out. I mean, I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't get Martin Hull. But after having drafted Harvey Green, I'm much happier I got him. I'm in free agency here, and you can tell that there's this fullback, 83 overall fullback. I don't want him because I have Andy Janovich, who's actually pretty good. But Jordan Hunt. 87 speed on this guy 89 acceleration i'm gonna sign him in case one of our starters gets hurt i'm okay with taking that guy onto the team same thing with one of these tight ends i want one of them jake but maybe 81 speed 83 catching or you have 82 speed 83 catching 84 acceleration i think jordan leggett actually looks a little bit better i'm gonna sign jordan leggett i'm okay with that for sure I'm doing a trade here with the Bengals. I'm giving them Tyrell Williams, TJ Watt, and Taco Charlton, three players that I really don't need anymore for their first and fifth round draft picks. I definitely could have gotten more. I probably could have gotten like a third, but I just kind of, I don't know. I just wanted to get a fifth. I don't know why I did that actually. I'm honestly, I really can't tell you why. I think that's going to be the only trade I'm going to make in this video, but let me know in the comments if you want me to trade for anybody in particular and I'll try to get it done. But anyway, I'm going to change the gameplay sliders now. That's next, really, on my mental list. I'm going to bring all mine down by three. That's what I said I was going to do. I'll have everything down by three. Oh, I think that was two. Was that two? Oh, God, I don't remember what this one was on. I'll leave it there. I think this was the same as that. I'm sorry if that wasn't down by three. I meant two, but I kind of messed up. Okay, so then I'm going to move all of theirs up by three. This one's slower. <laughs> Just so I make sure I don't mess up. Uh, there we go. Right? three i keep forgetting if this was on that or that i'll put it to 33 that's fine and then i'm gonna leave all the rest of these the same these don't really affect anything like you know skill wise so this is what or these are going to be the sliders for this uh next season i hope it makes it a lot more challenging if not then i'll just keep adjusting them until i you know have them settled but this is pretty much what the team is going to look like going into this next year i'm really excited to get this guy going I really want this guy to do big things. I want to try to throw. I, I can never throw to my number two receiver for some reason. I just never do. I'm probably also going to spend this little bit of experience that I have. But yeah, I never really throw to my number two receiver. So I'll make sure to do that more this season. I also find this funny. Damian Williams, or Daryl Williams, not Damian Williams. He's up to an 82 overall. <laughs> he's my backup. I just find that kind of funny. But this is pretty much what the team's going to look like. I like this team a lot. I think it can do really well. I feel like if I just simmed by this season, this team would do very, very well and probably still make the playoffs. Jordan Howard is finally back. He has superstar development. Where did he get that from? I don't know where. He did not have superstar development. Oh, I think I bought that for him. Did I buy that for him? I really don't remember. But, yes, I'm excited to use this team again. You know, the, the first game of the season should be out, you know, relatively soon. Maybe by next week. Mari Cooper dominated last year for us he's still going to be our number one receiver 
Rudd's still here, John Ross is still here. But if this team gets, like, way too good, let's say I finish another season before the next Madden comes out, and if this team gets ridiculously good, I'm thinking about maybe, like, trading away everybody, except for maybe rookies or something, and just trying to start from, you know, scratch again, just for, like, you know, maybe the last season. I don't want to completely copy Beard Mobox, because, of course, he has his reboot franchise, and he had his fire cell franchise, so I don't want to do a full thing of that, but maybe I'll just do it some way through the season. If you guys would like me to do that, then, you know, you can let me know in the comments of this video as well. But also, let me show you what is going on in the defense. So, Shelton is up to a 78 at defensive tackle. That's cool. This is the defensive end we drafted. We still have Nazair Jones here. I definitely still have a little bit of trade value. No, I don't want Jensen playing there. I thought he was somebody else. I threw Jensen to the backup left end over here. I don't know if I want this guy to start because I really do like Derek Barnett. Maybe I'll try to get some kind of rotation system thing going in, kind of like how the Eagles do, where if their players get tired, I mean, they don't even really have to get tired. If they just play a couple snaps, they have somebody else coming for them. Maybe I'll do that, try to get Jensen more involved. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. But Vic Beasley is down to left end, and he's a 92 overall down here. He is a very sick player to have as a defensive end. Derek Barnett already highlighted. Gertie Jarrett's back as well. It's cool to see. Luke Keekley is going to be our, you know, lone starting middle linebacker. Obviously, that's perfectly fine. He's a 99 overall. Rameek Wilson slid over to right outside linebacker, and he's an 86 overall out here. 85 zone coverage on him. He'd probably be a really good safety, but I'm not going to throw him up there. Then we got Mager starting at left outside linebacker. I wanted to see who was better out of these two guys, and it looks like Mager is the better choice. So I'm fine with that. He's still a rookie. 24 years old is a bit old, but it's fine. Leroy Reynolds is backing up Luke Keekley. Perfectly okay with that. We got Green over here at cornerback number two. It says 83 down here, but I probably just have to change the scheme to get him to go up to an 84. I'll do all that stuff before the next episode. I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, and special teams. Hold on. Let me make sure Curtis Samuel is my second kick returner. Jabril Peppers? Don't want Jabril Peppers being here. He only has 90 speed. I'd rather have... How fast are you? 93 speed on this guy? I think Curtis Samuel is still even faster. I should probably put Curtis Samuel back there. I'll make sure that happens. He's right here. There he is. I think you're faster than... You have 95 speed. Okay, so I definitely want him being there instead of Jabril Peppers. So I'll make sure I do that before the start of next episode as well. But I think... This is going to be the end of this one. I don't think I forgot anything. I don't want to make any more trades right now. I knew I just wanted to ship off some pieces that I knew I wasn't going to use. You know, I want to ship those guys off for some draft picks for next year. At least one more first round draft pick. But like I mentioned earlier, let me know if you guys think like I should get anybody in particular. If you want me to get anybody in particular. Like last year, somebody commented. Last year. Last season, whatever. Somebody commented that I get James Conner on the team. Try not to suggest a running back because I have a lot of running backs that I like using. But yeah, suggest anything you guys really want, I guess. I don't really care if it's a running back. If it's a running back, I probably just won't go for it if I'm being completely honest. But anyway, this outro is taking way too long. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.